So, this will be as much as a test recording as a character creation video. The game I'm sh going to show you is the Elder Scrolls Morrowind, the Elder Scrolls 3 Morrowind, which is the predecessor of of Oblivion, which is the prequel of uh, like which likewise is the prequel to Skyrim. Yeah. I like this is my favorite video game and I think there is a very high underrepresentation of let's plays of, for this game which are most of the time also very bad which I found and I'm going to f to try and change that I don't know maybe we can't know that so we're going to start a new game so So this is the intro video, and I will remain remain quiet and, until it's done. They have taken you from the Imperial City's prison. First by carriage, and now by boat. To the east, to Morrowind. Fear not, for I am watchful. You have been chosen. Wake up. We're here. Why are you shaking? Are you okay? Wake up. You gotta appreciate the little pieces of voice acting this game has to offer. So that's why I remain quiet for the time being. The video we just saw that wasn't in the game before, but someone remade this, remade the intro video which was just 320 times whatever. Like it was maybe it was 640 times uh, 480, but I don't know. It was of, of course it was um, standard definition doesn't really fit the, the topic anymore. I know that I'm just doing it in normal HD, not in not in full HD, but that's because of my um, display being 1,280 one one times 1,024, and Stand I just clicked. Up. There you go. That was you were dreaming. very unnecessary. What's your name? Pause. Scratching my nose is also very competent. So the name we're going to choose is um, I'm going to play Night uh, Night uh, Night Elf. Wow, a Dun Dunmer, Dark Elf, Night Elf. I didn't even play w World of Warcraft or anything, so it's kind of stupid to say that. So we're going to name him. Dunveith. Yeah, it's British. Uh, it's it's a US US layout, and I'm using a German layout. Wow. Not even last night's storm could wake you. Kind of I heard them say confusing. we've reached Morrowind. I'm sure they'll let us go. This is all standard procedure. We kind of have to look around because this last time we'll see this. Quiet. Here comes the guard. This is where you get off. Come with me. Okay. You better do what they say. I'm stuck. Can't take it. Well, I won't pretend these kind of things. I guess it's stupid to, to pretend. Well, but you can't take things in the beginning of the game. Let's have a look around anyway. The ship shouldn't even be there. This is where they want you. Head down to the dock and I'll it show you the office. To be fair. You finally arrive. Records don't show from where. Yeah, Dark Elf is right. So 
Some of the faces are broken. I guess we are, do are fine with this one. I should have installed more hair, I guess. But I'm always very picky when I when it comes to these kind of mods. I guess this is kind of fine. Yeah. So everything like everything of that is fine, I guess. So the race bonus is, is uh, athletics. Well, you can't you can see that yourself. It's boring for me to read that. Great. To you. I'm sure you'll fit right in. And I should focus. Follow on this me face. up to the office, and they'll finish your release. He looks buff. Gonna enter the census and excise office. Ah, yes, we've been expecting you. Uh, you'll have to be recorded before you're officially released. There are a few ways we can do this, and the choice is yours. So, I'm going to fill out the forms myself. Normally, there is some certain tests. Maybe you, if you played Fallout 3, for example, there is this questionnaire that they're going to ask you what you're doing with certain things, and it's the same shit here, basically. We're going to be a stealthy character who f focuses on being stealthy. <laughs> wow. And also could cast spells if he wanted, so... Agility. And we're, ch we're choosing luck because that's the only way to change the, this attribute other than leveling it up very inefficiently. And we're going to be an assassin. No. There is a better blade, the better word that's night blade. Night blade is also a class that exists in the game, but we're not going to be the class, the predefined night blade class. Night blade is good because it implies assassin and magic. Because we've also done personality, but but we're going luck because for the, for because it's fun to to go for luck. Circular argument, right? Sneak. Security. Now let's not use security here. Light armor, illusion, short blade sneak. And... Hmm. Block? Yeah, block will be nice. Block is always good. So these are all uh, ruled by agility other than person, uh, other than the illusion magic. We're going to use mysticism, alteration, which are very important. Then security, alchemy, and... Well, we could choose here now, like... We, we, we have we could either use uh, restoration one of the other major schools or we can just go for mercantile but we shouldn't really do that it's, it's easy enough in this game to get money so we're going to use um, mysticism yeah mysticism is very good Okay. Very good. The letter that preceded you mentioned you were born under a certain sign. And what would that be? So here's... I'm going to do a, bit, a little bit of guesswork too, and a little bit of thinking. Because it's... Uh, I've installed a mod that adds um, aspects to... Uh, different aspects to the star signs, so we have more choices in the beginning of the game. Because for a thief you can always uh, just go for a specific star sign. We're going to go. F we're going to choose one of these. Maybe this one. And this has uh, invisibility for 60 seconds as a as a power. Once so they cast. You can cast that once a day. And but it's. I'm not sure about that because that's maybe not good. We could go for this one, which also increases luck. I think we're going to do that. We're not going to 
to power monger. Like we're not going to use powers to op to do things. That's boring. But that's also well that might be OP in a way. Yeah, that might be OP in a way. Otherwise increasing our uh, attributes like that will also limit us in the late game. Oh look, 45 luck, 20 points. And then a spell, which is decent. Poison on touch and... well, that's not de decent, that's 30 damage you're taking. We are taking. So we should not do that then. Luck of the low. Personality and Fortify Illusion. I guess we're going to do that. Yeah. Taking this one. Interesting. Now, before I stamp these papers, make sure this information is correct. <sighs> Dunvaith, the Dark Elf. The Nightblade class. Self-made one. And all the other fun stuff. We didn't do. Yeah, we didn't take mar Marksman. Which might be a mistake in the long run. Let me think about it. Maybe we should just uh, switch out. Oh, and Shan is not the skill we want to have. Let's just switch that. Fill out forms yourself. Create custom class. Let's have Marksman here then. Okay. So, that was a mistake. I didn't I didn't intend to have Enchant there. You, you follow my reasoning there, I guess, so you know. We can always summon. Uh, oh, we can always always summon this spell, which is 50% miss chance for the enemy. We we also have um, a sanctuary spell, which is oh, that's just a spell we got for leveling. Yeah, these are okay, I guess. We don't need this one because it's deprecated by the shadow mail we have. Okay. This is our character now. We now have a stats menu. Right click allows you to use your menus, blah blah blah. Show your papers to See? the captain when you exit to get your release fee. Shadow M, which is a constellation of the shadow with a prime aspect of Masser. Okay. So we need to get these documents. Take what? your papers off the table and go so. to Captain Gravius. And I'm going to steal that. That's what you do in the game. Going to steal You've things. Stolen for the last thief. time. So you get money in the game. Continue through to the There's next no punishment for this. It's basically low risk. So we're going to come back here later. We will come back here later. We need to take this ring. And we will also do this. Wait, we will go around. Your papers, please. Come on. Go away. We dropping this on the floor. Grab him. Goodbye. And now we're gonna pick it up. So we're reporting as we should. This package man came with the news of your arrival. You are to take the Caius you're to take it to Caius Casadas in the town of Bamora. Go to the South Wall Corner Club and ask for Caius Casadas. They'll know where to find him. Serve him as you would serve the Emperor himself. I also have a letter for you and a dispersal of your name. Add you to your name. So he gave us eighty seven gold, a package for Caius Casadas, a direction to Caius Casadas. So Headed out. Been re recording for 14 minutes now. Um, I'll, I'll I'll be clearing this out of camera, and we'll wait. We will meet here again. So 